Hey, the Batman craze is the real deal at West High School, where students and teachers have been dealing with hundreds of bats that have been hanging out in the halls. In fact, custodians caught 46 of these bats <laughs> just this morning. Dan Roscoe covering this story. Joining us live from West High, Dan, bats are actually flying in the hallways? You know, they really are. Mark and Sean are pretty amazing out here that they're actually flying here at West High in different places. As you mentioned, 46 bats caught this morning and they continue to be caught. This custodian right over here caught two more just a short time ago. You can barely see the little critters inside of there. But uh, amazingly, this is not a new problem. Eric Adams is on a mission. Fourth floor is a good place. Not to catch butterflies, but to catch bats. I'm going after bats. Eric is not in a bat cave. He's at West High School, home of the Panthers. But in the month of September, it's home to hundreds of Mexican free-tailed bats. Most of them hang out in the bat condos up on the roof. But for those who get through the cracks and into the school, there's one. They're hunted down by Eric. <laughs> who students call. They call me Batman. Yeah, Batman! <laughs> I kind of have to swoop from the side and get them from the side. It looks kind of silly, I'm sure, with a bunch of bats flying around and two custodians swinging butterfly nets. But. You know, it's part of the job. This month drives us batty. For the most part, school administrators, teachers, and students are used to the bats because they've been hanging around for dozens of years. West High just happens to be their pit stop before migrating to Mexico. They add to the kind of spooky, like, oldness of West. I was thinking that this school has potential for horror films. You know, I'm only scared when they fly, like, really low, and then you're just like, ah. We all try to peacefully coexist and make sure that nobody gets hurt in the process. <laughs> I am the Batman. Huh? <laughs> Okay. Well, Ricardo is the Batman for the Salt Lake School District. He says they don't want to hurt the animals or extinguish them. Our goal is to divert them, you know, have them go in places where we want them to be at and not inside the building. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it's all about. Batman out here. Now, this is, of course, the home of the Panthers. There's been talk, of course, to be able to change it to home of the bats, but, you know, people don't really want that here. Now, again, the custodians under strict instructions not to harm or hurt the bats in any way. They want them to be able to continue to migrate down to Mexico. They just basically want to keep them outside of the buildings here. They're doing a good job because, what was it, three years ago, I'm told, they found a thousand bats in here. Now they're down to, you know, a few dozen or so. And uh, at this point, they're feeling like they're making some good progress. Mark, Sean, I'm back to you. Well, you have to be careful too, because bats do carry rabies. So the, I'm sure that they don't want them in the building if they if they don't have the, to have them in the building. So. Right, and that's a big danger.